The LNP now needs to pick up the pieces and its first task is to elect a new leader. Within one hour of Tim Nichols announcing his resignation, leadership contenders were publicly putting their hands up. And for the first time in Queensland's history, the Premier and opposition leader could both be women. As LNP deputy, Deb Frecklington was at Tim Nichols' side every step of the campaign. The mangoes were sweet. <laughs> But victory wasn't to be. Now the 46-year-old member for Nanango is taking a shot at the top job. I'm not scared of trying. Here we go. <laughs> In a statement, she paid tribute to Mr Nichols and declared that the party must listen, regroup and rebuild faith in the LNP. If the LNP does not back Deb Frecklington, I fear that the Nationals will break away from the LNP. Good morning all. The member for Everton, Tim Mander, will run as Mrs Frecklington's deputy, but they will be challenged. Despite Tim Nichols asking for a new generation of LNP leaders, an old hat is appealing for another go. In 2011, John Paul Langbrook stepped aside to make way for Campbell Newman. Now he wants to take back the reins. Our party needs someone who knows the rigours of leadership and with the experience to rebuild trust with all Queenslanders, he tweeted. With Sunday MP Jason Costigan is interested in the role of deputy, blasting the LNP's performance in regional Queensland. It's a shocking primary vote across central north and far north Queensland. We've lost the plot. The sales pitch didn't work. Those in the leadership race now have four days to garner support. 39 LNP members will get a vote in the ballot at 2pm on Tuesday. Phones will be running hot over the weekend. I'm expecting lots of calls uh, from prospective candidates telling me uh, how good they are and why I should be voting for them. I've stared down Campbell Newman, I've stared down Lawrence Springborg, I've stared down Tim Nichols, so who's next doesn't really worry me. Broadwater MP and former Newman government minister David Crisafulli has ruled out a tilt there's still plenty of soul searching for the party to do. Let's face it, they've held power for five years in the last 28. That has got to raise questions about strategy, tactics, logistics, organisation. Lots to talk about on Tuesday. Jessica Van Vonderen, ABC News.